testing ACT and ACT. So in this uh, session, we are going to look at a very important topic for grammar and that is that is commonly confusing words. So if you can hear me and see me, just drop a hi or a hello in the live chat poll, in the live chat box so that I can get to know who all are there in the session. So good evening and welcome to the session everybody. Hi Jasmeet, how are you? <clears throat> Great, cool. So in this uh, session, we are going to look at some of the commonly confusing words through some practice. All right, I'll give you some SAT level questions which involve diction errors. Cool. Okay, and I guess you all know me pretty well. I'm your uh, favorite educator, Gurpreet Singh, your top rated verbal ability and reading comprehension trainer with a proven track record of more than eight years of providing training to people on diverse backgrounds like IELTS, PTE, SAT, ACT, TOEFL, GRE, GMAT at Pan-India level as well as internationally. Along with that, I have worked with several renowned institutions and corporates and I teach live on an academy plus. So are you ready for the session quickly? Great. So we're going to look at some of the commonly confusing words. Also, we are going to practice some questions based on this concept. Are you ready? So if you are ready, just type ready in the live chat box so that I can get to know how many of you are there. Great. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Now, can you see a conversation, or an argument going on between two uh, close friends? Can you see it? Ready, great. So, this girl says, Alex, the right word is affect with an A. And the second one says, no, you are wrong. The word should be effect with an E. Now, there's a confusion. We have to solve this confusion between both of them. Right? Okay, again, there's an argument. Uh, she says, Alex, that's advises. Not a, with, not a C with an S. Okay, so... Shall we, shall we start? Great, great, great. So before that, I'll give you a quick question. I hope you can see. Now, if the items that I would be giving you, you have to choose the option that corrects the error in the underlying portions. All right? So you have to choose the option that corrects the error in the underlying parts. Will you be able to? Okay. So it says, my friends ate at Tito's Taco Palace. So they are hoping that their lunch stays down for there are rumors that health inspectors cited the filthy kitchen. Filthy is dirty. Ready? So your options are option A, no change. Option B, there. Option C, they are. Option D, there. And here's your timer. Let me know if you can answer this question within this timer. Let me see if you can find out the error and correct it. My friends ate at Tito's Taco Palace. So they are hoping. So they are. It's a contraction for. They are. This there is a possessive pronoun. Now you think about it and tell me which is going to rectify the error. 
my friends ate at tito's taco palace so they are hoping that their lunch stays down both of them are fine for yeah the third part is wrong because it should be for there are reasons so it should be option d am i right okay let's go about the next one even though we want jake not to eat a whole pie at one sitting he sat at the kitchen table and proceeded to consume slice after slice okay option a no change option b whole option c set option d proceeded here you go now look at this word if you have a homonym for this word words which sound the same but have a slight difference in their spellings even though we want jake not to eat a whole pie at one sitting he sat at the kitchen table and proceeded to consume slice after slice now proceed means to come before right sat at the kitchen table and set at the kitchen table both are different so that should be that should be quickly go ahead and answer this question Twenty seconds to go quickly. Okay. All right. Stop. The correct answer is option B with the W. The correct answer is eat a whole pie at one sitting. Okay. Let's go ahead and answer this question. Give Gerard a compliment because his shoe laces complement the colors in his plaid shirt. His fashion sense is gradually improving. Option A, no change. Option B, compliment with an E. Option C, compliment with an I. And option D, sense. now there are two words which sound the same but they have a different meaning what are they all right so you have got 1 minute to answer quickly now complement with an e it means to add some extra features so complement with an e means to add extra features isn't that so that something that adds extra features uh, maybe to emphasize maybe to improve a quality that is what you mean by complement with an e right and what about complement with an i what about complement with an i that means a praise right correct so basically complement with an i means to praise someone so give gerard an appreciation a praise because his shoe laces complement the colors in his plaid shirt his fashion sense is gradually improving that should be correct the correct answer would be option c his fashion sense is improving not fashion sense is improving cool let's go about and answer this question it says if you go by the supermarket buy a package of hot dog buns then we can grill the sausage for dinner no change 
by for the first underlined word by for the second underlined word and then for the last underlined word what do, what would you say go ahead and answer so your time starts now correct absolutely difference between than and then then is next it is used for sequencing it is used for sequencing right so than with an a is used for comparing than his taller than his sister that's a comparison then is a sequencer so that should be d agree absolutely absolutely the correct answer would be option d are we right on this cool okay so shall we move on to the next one cool amazing good to go for the next just tell me yes or no yes okay next is heed my advice and don't lose your receipt the college bookstore will not accept any excuse if you need to return those books no change advice lose and accept your time starts now heed is pay attention to so heed means to pay attention to something very closely very carefully let me know how fast you answered let's see okay now lose with the double o this means not tight agree so what should that be so what should that be don't lose your receipt don't lose your receipt that should be option c correct absolutely the correct answer is option c let's move on to the next one now the herd of gazelle leaped through the air as the animals tried to elude the cheetah no change herd of gazelle through the air and elude the cheetah So here's your timer. Now heard is a verb. It's a verb. The past form of hear. Let me know quickly. very easy question
the collection of gazelles what do you call it it's a last 30 seconds quickly just a guess just a wild guess what do you say no it should be option it should be option yeah i'll tell you the difference i'll tell you the difference difference of okay okay i'll tell you the difference i'll tell you the difference now allude is when you refer to something in an refer to something in an indirect manner when you refer to something in an indirect manner or an indirect way now elude means to escape escape from danger or you can say to avoid a danger got it so that's why elude is right in this sentence the correct answer would be option b the herd of gazelle leaped through the air as the animals tried to elude the cheetah elude the cheetah to escape from the cheetah okay let's answer this question when there are fewer students in a class fewer okay the professor has less worries that everyone is getting individual attention no change for the first one there for the second one less and for the third word fewer what should it be should it be t h i r here or should it be less here or should it be fewer here just to answer this question you look at this word if it is countable or uncountable you will get your answer and here's your timer right absolutely it should be option d when there are fewer students in a class the professor has fewer worries that everyone is getting individual attention absolutely let's answer this question we were successful baking 300 cupcakes for the charity event but today we are exhausted because after spending all night preparing the desserts no change we are were and deserts so should it be this one or should the change be for this or should the change be for this one or there is no change has a timer what do you say if there is no change involved you have to select the no change option all right think about it you have 30 seconds we were successful that is fine we 
R that's a contraction. So V apostrophe R E that's a contraction for V R. So that should also be fine. Night preparing the desserts, sweet dishes. So that's also fine. So what do you say? The correct answer is no change involved. Correct. Go on and answer this question. Gregory passed his chemistry final. Now he won't lose his scholarship. As he walked past the diner, he rewarded himself with a milkshake. No change. Passed. Lose. Passed. Go ahead. What should it be? Should it be passed? Should it be loose? Or should it be passed here? Think, think and answer. Correct. Very well done. Very well done. Correct. Amazing. The correct answer is option C, loose. So, loose with a double O means not tight. Great. Let's move on and answer this question. Mr. Ramos hopes to accept the bid on the house. He has agreed to all of the buyer's conditions except retiling the master bathroom since it would be too much work. Okay. No change. Except for the first one, except for the second one and sense. So what should it be? What is the change that you think should be incorporated here? Timer starts now. Last 30 seconds to go. Any wild guesses? Just a guess. If you don't know the answer, just a wild guess. Ten seconds quickly. Alright, the time's up. The correct answer is the second one. So it should be Mr. Ramos hopes to accept. Accept should be A double C E P T. Accept. Next is our ultimate freedom. Those are quotes now famous people in history. Let's see if you can do that. Our ultimate freedom is the right and power to decide how anybody or anything outside ourselves will dash us, affect us or affect us. Now that's a quote by Stephen R. Covey. What would you say for this? Our ultimate freedom is the right and power to decide how anybody or anything outside ourselves will dash us. Okay, out of these two, one is a verb and second one is a noun. And uh, with the modal verb, what would you use? You use the first form of the verb. So that should be correct. Very nice. That should be affect. Next is 
Bismarck is the dash of North Dakota and the state's second largest city. Capital or capital? Now capital with an O. It is it is a building basically where all the legislative bodies they meet. All right. Means where the state government functions are carried out. This one option B. Now what do you say? Should it be capital with an O or capital with an uh, A? Correct. That should be A. Correct. Absolutely. Next is. The driver teased the poor child who had forgotten her bus dash. The driver teased the poor child who had forgotten her bus dash. Now fair with an IR means just, equal. So why did the driver tease her? Because she had forgotten her fair, right, absolutely. Next is, I am happy to say that the first dash of our operation has met with considerable success. Now phase with ZE, what does that mean? That means to disturb someone, disturb or disconcert someone. So that is what you mean by phase. Correct. That should be option B. I am happy to say that the first phase, first stage of our operation has met with considerable success. Next is the Wright brothers dash right through the smoke screen of impossibility. It's a quote by Charles F. Kettering. So what should it be? The right brothers dash right through the smoke screen of impossibility. So right brothers were the ones who are credited for the invention of the airplane, first airplane. So when they invented the airplane, they dash through the smoke screen of impossibility. So what would you say that? Okay. Last 30 seconds quickly. Yes, absolutely. That should be option C. Flew right through the smoke screen of impossibility. Next is home computers are being called upon to perform many new functions, including the consumption of homework dash eaten by the dog. So that's a basically uh, humorous comment because many of the students they make a Make an, make an excuse in their schools that their homework has been eaten by the dog. So that's a formal excuse. Correct. Formal excuse, right? Correct. Formally 
and this formerly means previously cool yeah let's move on to this one never go to a doctor dash office plants have died it's it's by irma bombak never go to a doctor dash office plants have died so who apostrophe s is a contraction for who is so think accordingly so it should be whose office plants whose office plants have died am i right great next is the country's constitution was amended to allow women to vote the country's constitution was amended to allow women to vote what should you say here the constitution was amended to allow women to vote no change amended amend or amends any guess i let you know the meaning i let you know the meaning as well okay what should that be last 10 seconds i let you know all right thanks up the correct answer is no change why i'll tell you amend with an a it means to improve right amend with an a means to improve amend when you are removing the mistakes for example if you have written a text and you are removing the mistakes for corrections that is called amending all right so for example if i say he tried to amend the situation by apologizing to me no amend is used only in case of corrections particularly for texts all right he tried to amend the situation by apologizing to me that seems fine to me correct because he tried to improve the situation how by apologizing to me so since in the question they are talking about a modification in the constitution not a correction textually so in that case amended will be the correct choice cool okay now can you spot which words are incorrectly used in the sentences shall we see when alex heard that the exam would be changing the news was difficult for her to okay you are going to correct it for me all right would you she had spent a lot of time studying for the old test and now she wondered if that had been a total waste how would these changes affect his scores so that should be her rather what do you say so instead of this it should have been a double c e p t spent a lot of time studying for the old test and now she wondered if that had been a total waste right absolutely amazing cool great correct 
Now, for example, if you look at this question, the Spanish language is known for its diversity as there are over 200 documented dialects of the language. Now, if you look at IT apostrophe S, that is a contraction for it is. And here it refers to a possessive pronoun. The Spanish language is known for its diversity. So, what option would you select here? Now, if you look at option D, you have only two options which talk about possessive pronoun C and D. But the only difference is between these two words. They, apostrophe R, it's a contraction for they are. Right? And that would not be the correct answer. It's diversity as they are, are over. So, that would be wrong. It's diversity as there are over. 200 documented dialects of the language. Done? So your correct answer is going to be option C. Cool. Let's talk about the next one. Though the current line of contemporary fashion is often perceived as a recent trend, its roots date back to early Egypt. Whose roots? Roots of contemporary fashion. Now think about it and answer. It's a similar question. And roots is plural and you need a plural verb there. If your subject is plural, you will need a plural verb. The correct answer would be obviously option C. Correct. Cool. Now, another confusion that I want to solve that is 2, 2 and TWO2. Now, we use 2, TO as a preposition. Jonathan drove to the shop, right? We use to to begin an infinitive. What is an infinitive? It is the base form of the verb. The form which you see in the dictionary. That is an infinitive. He hoped to buy fresh squid. Use T double O to show degree. How much? The squid was too expensive to purchase. Use T double O as a synonym for also. Alex prepared a desert. Alex prepared a dessert too. She prepared a sweet dish also. And use TWO when you mean the number. Jonathan bought how many flounder fillets? Two flounder, two flounder fillets instead. Are we clear? Next is use there as a placeholder. There is a turtle in the road. Use there to indicate place. Across the road is a lake. The turtle hopes to get there before a car hits it. And use T-H-E-I-R as a possessive pronoun. Most drivers don't see the turtle. Their eyes are glued. Whose eyes are glued? Eyes of the drivers. So their eyes are glued to their cell phones. And use they apostrophe R-E as a contraction for they are. Cool. They are also distracted by other devices like the radio and navigation system. Alright, so that is it for today and I will see you in a yet another session tomorrow at the same time. Till then take care and don't forget to hit the like button and come and be a part of our Unacademy free live classes where you can chat with us real time. You can ask us questions, participate in quizzes and compete with your uh, fellow friends in live classes. So and we also offer comprehensive courses for your SAT and ACT preparation where you can learn live from the comfort of your home. You get unlimited access to all the courses and trust me, it's the best platform to prepare for SAT and ACT. Along with that, we will make sure that you are right on track. We will be giving you an exhaustive coverage of the entire syllabus. Along with that, to help you analyze your performance, we do have 
weekly mock test series live quizzes and subjective test series which you can be a part of so to avail the set subscription and to learn live and to get access to all our comprehensive courses on set you can go ahead and buy the set subscription which is the most affordable of all that you would find anywhere so you can go for a 3 month subscription or a 6 month subscription depending on how much time you have left for the exam if you have time go for intensive training 6 months training that will cost you only 7200 and for 3 months it will cost you around 4500 above this you can also avail a discount of 10 percent for example for 3 months the actual fee is 4500 but it may go down to 4000 when you use the referral code gurpreet10 am i clear so this code gurpreet10 is going to help you fetch a discount of 10% whenever you are going to buy any subscriptions on an academy not only SAT but for any subscriptions that you buy on an academy plus the benefit is going to be that when you use this referral code your profile gets tagged to me and I will be mentoring you live in the classes and in the courses and for any updates and notifications premium content materials updates you can follow us on telegram you can join us there a lot of learners have already joined so acing sat and act is the name of our telegram channel you can also click on the link in the description uh, also you have an opportunity to report any inappropriate content and claim your prize until then take care everybody adios gracias bye bye take care and i will catch you very very soon in a yet another session tomorrow but before that, don't forget to hit the like button and press the bell icon and subscribe to the channel so that you are updated whenever we are live. Till then, take care everybody and...